I think this is absolutely necessary. Um, we've been struggling with housing. It's been pretty much my focus ever since day one, uh, six and a half years ago, uh, when we authored the, uh, the Housing Trust Fund to begin more than the conversation, the actual economic foundation for building more affordable housing, particularly for our low income communities that were suffering. But I, I'd be honest that uh, the real focus for me these days, although I think we're doing much better on the very deep affordability challenges that we have, uh, whether it's veterans, whether it's lowest income or immigrant families, I'm essentially concerned about the losing and the requiring of our essential workforce to travel uh, two hours, two and a half hours from their homes to get to a place where they're going to help me stop fires, uh, prevent crime, uh, repair utilities after disaster, uh, get my 911 dispatchers having a hard time. And these are all working folks. They're teachers, they're restaurant workers, they're the heads of nonprofits that can't get into our city because they're living too far away trying to find some sense of affordability. And they make adequate money, but they can't afford the prices because we haven't built enough and we haven't concentrated on this level of the essential uh, working class, the, the, the people who actually make our cities run, uh, in my estimate. And I'm committed to try to get that even more pronounced done and more housing for that middle income working class folks. I have a good conversation going with all of our labor leaders uh, because I don't want them to be traveling two and a half hours to get to the work that they really want to do and do well. Uh, so that's my focus and uh, I'm talking to developers. Uh, I think we're not going to have a whole bunch of no's but it's how to do it. And uh, I'm issuing an executive directive uh, this afternoon uh, to all of our departments to really cut our processes in half. I know Senator Weiner is absolutely right because he worked with me very closely on all these projects and we understood all the challenges and now he's able to identify those things that are really at the state level that we can comp complement the local level. I look forward to working with uh, the mayors, uh, county council leadership, labor leaders to really push forward uh, housing for the essential workforce because if, I, if we don't do that, our cities are going to be bogged down uh, with everything. And I have to look at the next earthquake uh, as we are reviewing what's happened in southern United States and uh, Puerto Rico and other places that we've got to be recovering today before the events happen. And this is why we have to have emergency and essential workforces in our cities or close enough by they're not wasting time sitting on bridges or, or backed up by cars of people that are full.